everyone, this is Corey with Camera Coach. Thanks again for joining. And today we are going to dive into controlling exposure. Uh, three primary ways of changing the exposure in camera, uh, which means we're going to be taking our camera off of automatic. Oh no! Right? Um, well, that is kind of, I think, the biggest step when you're learning is to go from letting the camera control everything to starting an experiment and learn what the main uh, controls are going to do for you and how to actually um, utilize those to get the images that you want. Okay, so three things, like I mentioned. The first one we're going to talk about is shutter speed. Shutter speed is really just a function of time. It's how fast or really how long the shutter is going to stay open to let light into the camera. Okay, uh, and, and ultimately that is like it's a little curtain that's covering the sensor and then your shutter speed, just how fast that curtain is going to go up and back down and, and let light in. So as you might expect, the faster the shutter speed, the less light. And the slower the shutter speed, the more light. So I have my camera here. I'm going to set my shutter speed to 1 200th of a second. So it is a fraction of time, right? And I'm just going to take a quick picture here. Okay, that's 1 200th of a second. I am, however, going to drop down to a much slower shutter speed. Uh, we'll say half of a second. One half of a second. Okay, and I'm going to take my same picture here. And you can hear a little bit of a lag there, right? And so that one, the mirror has to stay up longer so the shutter can, can stay open that long. Uh, that was one half of a second. If you'd like more information about shutter speed, there will be another in-depth video that you can check out. Uh, so keep on the lookout for that. As a matter of fact, be sure to subscribe so you know when it comes out. Okay? Now, on to aperture. The larger the aperture, the more light comes in. And the smaller the aperture, the less light comes in. So as you're controlling your exposure, you're out taking pictures, if you can't really change your shutter speed, then you can move over to aperture and say, well, I need a larger opening or a smaller opening. Aperture is also usually written as a fraction, kind of like shutter speed, except it's called an F stop or an F number, okay, and usually written this way, where there's a number right after this fraction line. So F8, this means to find out what your aperture is, the size of the opening, you'll take your focal length of the lens and divide by 8. So if I have a 35 millimeter lens and I'm shooting at F8, that means I can divide by 8 and I'll get something slightly larger than four. Okay, and so that means that I will have a four millimeter opening when I'm taking that picture. If this lens allows me to open up my aperture to let's say F2, now I take this 35 millimeter, that focal length, and divide by two, and then I'm shooting with almost an 18 millimeter opening. Okay, so there's a lot of math in that, but you can see that's about four times as much light. So being able to get these larger apertures is a really big deal. You can check out our specific video about aperture. So we have shutter speed and we have aperture. And the last thing is ISO. What is ISO? ISO is really just a parallel to the film speed of, of film. And so we don't use film, obviously, for a digital camera, but for the film speed, it was really just going to allow you to get brighter images or darker images. So the larger or the faster the film speed, the brighter your images would be. And so people would use that for active children and sports and those sorts of things. And so the camera function is really just lightening and darkening the picture. It's like the computer is brightening and darkening it. Uh, and so your ISO may range from about 100, which would be the darkest, there all the way up to um, over a thousand. And so one thing to note though is as you go higher, then you might start, start to see some grain in your images. So you have to balance that uh, to kind of make sure that you're getting the quality that you want in the image. Okay, well that just about wraps things up here for our intro into adjusting exposure. Hopefully that was helpful for you. If it was a little too elementary, I totally understand. But if you have specific questions about those three settings, the shutter speed, the aperture, and the ISO, be on the lookout for our specific videos for those, or just send us a comment. We'd be glad to hear from you. Okay? Well, that's it. This is Corey signing off. Have a great day.